happy that I have my microphone back. And happy that I didn't forget about doing this, but I have to change. Um, I was going to say that I'm streaming Yoshi's Island, and I'm not. I would very much like to change that now, please. So let me change that. There we go. I wish there's got to be, there has to be a better way than this. Oh well. Hi, children of the light. Fast. We're gonna do this fast because I started late. I made a mistake. I was going to stream this much earlier, be a responsible human being for once. And wouldn't you know it, that didn't happen. So here we are. That felt pretty. Hopefully, hopefully we can do the best. No, I got really distracted today. Um, I'm about to leave the house for a while. So I'm going to be house sitting for other people. And because of that, I've been um, hacking. But also, um, there's, like, situation. I guess I'll just say what it is. Um, so, a family member of mine moving to a new house. However, he, um, moves on the house promise that the house would be ready by the end of July. That's not. And because they promise that the house is ready, um, this family member didn't renew the lease on their apartment. And so they're basically going to be stuck without a home for um, until the house is done, which they don't know when that's going to be. Um, so yeah, it's just like huge pain in the ass situation. I don't really have room at my place um, to house people because we already have a situation we're for housing uh, some other people for various other reasons. And yeah, so there's not room for them. Good news is because I'm going to be house sitting and then immediately that I'm going to get out of town um, for a while. They should have a time to take my room, and yeah, so if need be, my space will be available for them. Um, they're not that's indicating though, so I'm not entirely sure. They still need that help. We have to find out. Um, you know, because that they'll have no choice left now. Um, so I've been staying my uh, room for that too. So it's just been it's like. Nothing is happening right the second, but there's 
all this stuff. It's coming. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Like, suddenly, it sounds quiet for some reason. This microphone situation is really irritating me. I, uh... So... I said this in the Yoshi Island stream, but I'll say it here too. Um, microphone situation is essentially I had a microphone in a for a couple weeks. This headset. So I was like, oh, problem. Then, hello. Okay, then, um, it suddenly decided to stop working for no reason. Um, you stop again. Remember when I did that? Um, so yeah, had this situation where the microphone just decided it was not up to me. And I was trying Fix it all in vain. I changed the setting around my computer. I looked up the issue. Um, figured that I guess with the microphone part I had that broken. The headphones were working fine. I just went, okay, I'm gonna send it back. If I send it back, I'm gonna get a replacement one. Back to the problem, the one before, which basically told me that the issue was not with the head itself, either, um, you know, me just doing wrong, or, oh, what's that about there? So, yeah, either me not having the right setting. Or is he doing something wrong? Or it was that that pop finally by deciding to just not pop anymore, which is very possible by the way, because my laptop hates me. Um and like not not like tech ways not amazing with technology, but I just grew up with it. So I know I'm not an idiot with it. I know like really basic stuff, but big troubleshooting techniques and all that. But um, usually what happens is I'll have an issue and for some reason my laptop will give me the hardest time. Just that issue. Anything else that was like anything less important to me, there would, no, would take two seconds. Because it's an issue for me, but seriously, my laptop goes, oh no, I suddenly can't work, and this is going to be a problem for you for a very long time. So it can be extra frustrating. So, um, long story short, it was just, um, an issue with me not doing the right thing in the settings, and apparently, um, the input right now is not for the headset, like it says it's not, but obviously it is, I'm talking into the microphone right now, so I'm still not entirely sure how that could work, but I'm not going to question it if it works. I will say, I think the other headset had better, slightly better quality than the mic. But it's annoying me, even though it's working right now. Now, it's really 
by it, it's weird. I don't know. Let's see. We'll see if I ever test a better headset. Might, might not. Right the other good news though, um, while my headset promo was holding and I wasn't really able to do much streaming, I went, you know, I might as well use this line to do something productive. So, I, um, I moved all of the streams that I've done so far like a USB. Um, and like I said, or I don't know if I ever said this on the stream, but in my little bio thing, it says that I'm, um, like, group. So I have, like, a friend group. We want to start streaming together. Um, will entail like us streaming actual things together as a group, but also just us streaming like our own things separately. So, we're doing that, and they have like a YouTube channel. It's not really like set up yet though, so I'm not gonna promote it or anything. But just know it's in the works and will appear eventually. But for now, it's just me streaming. Oh, but in doing that, I put a lot more room on my um, computer storage space. It's kind of low, and now it's a little bit better. So oh, that's nice thing that I don't have to really worry about anymore. Uh, who do I want to give a gift to? Give one to Ray. Oh, I guess he has one on. Otherwise, let me give another one. Uh, I'll give one to Ray. Oh, she has one either. <laughs> yeah.
good about throwing me into the server with other people. Oh, here we go. Here's at least in the vault. I know sometimes in the electricity gives you a bit of a problem. But the vault, I feel like they've had a lot more pressure to throw you into working servers. They're constantly making that one spirit. Um, Throw me in backwards. Why'd you throw me in backwards like that? That's rude. Uh, but yeah, you have to go to that spirit that requires four people to open the door. And they're going to. Oh, backwards? That's weird. Okay, light is here. It's just kind of a waste of time. Not a huge fan. I mean, it's very pretty over here. It's cool. Like, it's neat. All these, like, floaty blocks. And the light is pretty. And very easy to get. Just a bit of voice on. Now I have to go through this whole area. And there's not really much. Here. Still collect the light though, because I guess it's better to go through the level with something out of it. Yeah, so it's been it's been busy for me lately. Um like not yet. But after tonight, it will be. So I don't know what my streaming schedule is going to be until like August, um, like mid August. I, think I get back home on the 13th of August. Um, if I do anything before that, it, it's possible I might be. That. Uh, but yeah, like, I won't even have my own living area because I have a family member who's most likely going to be taking that space until um, the team or until their house is finished. So, crazy. I think so, but we're getting a house. I'm happy for them. I've had, um, I feel like I've had big news from friends and family. Kind of left and right for like the past year. So, um, example. Um, yeah, a friend of mine last year got pregnant and had a baby. So, it kind of sucks because it's a little pandemic. We couldn't really meet the baby. Um, I finally met her uh, a month ago. A month ago. <laughs> It now, but I was happy to meet the baby and be seeing my friend again. And yeah, so that was one thing. And then um, one of my friends got engaged and she's getting married this year. And then two of my other friends engaged to each other, and I think they're going to get married next year, and then one of my friends discovered that she was pregnant this year, and she was planning on keeping the baby, so, it's just like, boom, boom, 
crafting. Oh, and another friend of mine, um, uh, got out. Kind of, kind of on impulse. Um, it's not something that you would normally want to impulse by, but doing fine. So yeah, it's just been like great news all around. Um, yeah, and like just everything is changing. So many situations keep changing. So cool. I love when that happens. Okay, but it's another one in there. Not nice. Except, I don't know why they throw you in for exactly four people. Sometimes the fourth person is not that.
talk about how how like oh it's so underrated and it's such a good old game etc 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 like I'll agree I agree with that to a point but I feel like people are also like super overcompensating for it now like okay you made a point now you're being kind of conscious about it a lot of people are just like oh it's good it's a game. I don't know why it's people complain about it. I'm like, okay, now I'm only taking praises for it. And like, praises in excess. To me, it was not the best game I've ever played. Um, it wasn't even like super remarkable to me. Right. Wait a it. It's just not the best old game I ever played. I do love groups though. I love all the group games. It's very good. Probably the best thing to come out of that game. But fruit. Um yeah, it's me thinking about self degrees and what exactly that game meant. Because I'm a 90s kid, so I grew up in the 90s. Not actually, you know, when the first book came out, so I'm not like or for the original the I can't even um, play the original one. It's like is ramped up a lot because you know it was the beginning of making video games so a lot of those older games are much harder so yeah like the original Zelda tried to play it never got very far in it ended up just dying but um then even so first game console that I was really like old enough to play was the N four. So I did play Ocarina of Time as a kid, but I was also like was too young to actually like game and to actually get anywhere in that game. All I did, I was five, all I did was play around with Mona and like ride her around in Hyrule Field while my brother was the one who like actually played the game. And for the mask, I saw bits and pieces of it, but I never even I never played the fourth mask, I just watched other people play it. Um, and then for the gap time before I played the Zelda game again. Uh, so the first Zelda game that I actually finished was Twilight Princess. And enough. I didn't know that Wind Waker existed um, until the day after Twilight Princess came out. And in fact, I thought that Twilight Princess successor and to Waker, and then then Wind Waker came out, and I was like shocked to find that that was not true in like my early 20s when I figured that out and that just like blew my mind so yeah Twilight Princess was the first game the first Zelda that I finished so like that one holds a special place in my heart um, and then I like the stylistic direction that it went into. Uh, 
Well, that was like 
old. I was when that game came out. I don't know. I don't think it's track. But it didn't super appeal to me. I wanted it to be pretty, more pretty, and more focused on the pretty, and less focused on the beauty of it. I was disappointed in the style. The beat was really good. The music was always really good. Um, and once again, I liked hers. And I think towards the first was the second Zelda game that I completely finished. Um, and I think it was Zelda's 15 year anniversary when it came out. I even got like a special edition of the game that came with the uh, soundtrack, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but in a way, it was kind of special because I actually I finished it and it was the end game that I actually played all the way through and finished. Um, later on, this is really sad. I'm going to tell you a really sad story. Later on, I, when I was like, my late teens, I think, I think early 20s, I remembered playing a lot of games as a kid that I was never able to completely finish, right? And I went, you know what? I'm gonna revisit these games and I'm gonna play them and I'm gonna finish them. I was determined to finish some of these games, right? So, uh, I remember one of them was Sweet Mansion. Finished that one. Played it all the way through. Um, another one was Sin. I never finished. And I tried, but I, I never did it. Um, and then I was like, okay. I'm gonna finish. Um, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna play uh, Ocarina of Time on the like before, before I really got into emulating or anything for well and then emulators weren't um for like super games. They had emulators for other games like you know Game Boy game stuff um earlier system not in four. So I like actually thought on my old crappy bike in four. And I sat down and I was like, no, eat Ocarina of Time. And I even have I still have it had this guidebook for like the N64 version that, you know, came out around the time the game came out. So it's cool. It's actually really cool to see. It's cool to see how differently they write the uh, player guide now as opposed to then. So the way they write guide now, guidebooks, uh, if you don't just go online or look at a Let's Play or something, um, it'll just say, oh, do this, and then do that, and do this. Like it's just talking to you and addressing you as a player. Well, Ocarina of Time guidebook says, Speak heroically to blah blah blah, and he did blah blah blah. So, 
it's like inviting you, but it's talking about it in the third person. But it's really cool. A very fun way of writing guides. But it's a lot easier to trust the player and say, okay, yeah, you want to go and do this. And then you want to go and do that. Okay. Um, yeah, so I use my old work guide book. Play it on my old and super game. Uh, use the old cartridge. And I got all the way to the water temple. Once I got to the water temple, um, there's a segment in the water temple where you have to fight the, not the, um, Jabu Jabu Belly or whatever it's called. Um, yeah. I got all the way when you become an adult, and I played all the way to the water temple, like, the notorious Kirby hates water temple. So, second in there, where you, you end up in this weird, like, almost like a mirror room. Um, or it's like her breeze step, there's just like water. Um, the water just has a reflection, and all of a sudden, Sparkling comes out, and you have to fight him. He's like the bolt. As he learns her fighting style, and he emulates her fighting style, so it beats him hard. So, I start fighting him. Um, and he keeps me, so, um, you know, I become defeated. Normally, when you're defeated, it flashes the game over screen, and then it's like, oh, do you want to continue from your last save? Well, um, my game froze, and that already me that first off that normally doesn't do that. And I was like, oh no, like I don't know how far back it's been since I've last saved. I don't know how um how much I'm gonna have to do to take the ground. Yada yada yada. So I'm worrying about all that, thinking about all that. And but I, you know, turned the game off and reset it. And I turn the game back on, the file is gone. It's just completely wiped. There's nothing on the cartridge anymore. Nothing in the memory anymore. Um, obviously there's no way to get it back. And I was, like, when stuff like that would happen as a kid, obviously you that you like to crying. I didn't, I didn't do any of that. I didn't cry. I was just like so bummed and like so defeated in that moment. And I was like, I got all that way. I'm not doing all that again. And I guess for the 3DS version came out too. Because I do have a 3DS and I probably could play. Yes, Virgin, but I don't really. I guess I could do that in the future if I ever want to finish that game. But yeah, I never finished, never finished Ocarina. I did finish Majora. My friend and I finished it together. So, and I finished. So, the Zelda game that I've done. All the way. The fourth man, I like this. I want to board. Um, tracks. Um, a link between worlds and four spurs. I think those are all the game ones. So, because I grew up in the era of 
be something I have kind of like bias for that. Oh, it's a wild, obviously. That one too. Yeah, so that's my story for you today. Very long winded story. But yeah, I experienced the self games. I love them. I'm very excited for the second Breath of the Wild mount. I don't know if I'll ever play any of the like Hyrule Warriors games. I would like to do New Link Awakening. It's so cute and like so over being that like mature kid who gets mad at style changes. I look at it now and I'm like, oh, that's purple. So, I would love to play that one too eventually, but not right now. Oh hey, look at that. I'm done. Did candles. I did, um, yeah, I did my mission. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, and yeah, seven, seven minutes. Did it. We did a team. It took us less than an hour. Which was kind of what I was expecting. And we got this guy. This was the memory we relived. It's cute. I like it. There is a place called where you can use it. And it's like you use the force stones. Or she can unlock the door. So, cute. I love all the emojis in this game though. Like adding more. Yeah, that's it. Praise me. Praise me. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm tired. And I still have caffeine and um, some other stuff to do, so that'll be it for me today. I'm not gonna... I would like to keep doing Yoshi's Island, but that's not gonna be a thing. And if anything, I'm considering streaming um, some PC stuff. Because I'm gonna be basically unable to do anything on the Switch because of my weird home situation. Um, eventually, until like after August 13th. So, I'm gonna go quiet here for a bit. Unless I do decide to stream some PC stuff, in which case I might. Or like Mother 3 or something. We'll see. If not, then it'll be a while before I see anyone again. Just let me know. Um, in the meantime, I hope everyone stays well. And if you're also doing the season, don't forget to do, you know, the at least the seasonal stuff every day. Um, in one of the last streams I did, one mentioned that it's actually it's not going to be a situation where for this season the spirits will not come back with the traveling spirits. So you definitely don't want to miss out on the season because you won't be able to do, get any of the stuff again, like ever again. Well, maybe they'll bring it back, I don't know. But for the time being, the answer is no. So, there you go. And yeah, that'll be it tonight. Don't stay up late like I do. Be responsible. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. That's the thing, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Good night. See you next time.